so I got uh, two trays of chopped fruit in there I like to go to Walmart and when they have their trays of uh, prep fruit that they mark down I tend to pick them up because it's, they've done half the work for me and you get them about half price so I got two trays in there and it's been 18 hours on this and it's saying that that's going to be done and those trays got grapes and pineapple so I know it's not going to be done so what I thought is it would be the perfect opportunity to try out my new toy I bought with my Christmas bonus from work it's the HTI HT-A1 thermal imaging camera so we're going to give this a try and show you the cold spots because I'm sure there will be on this and uh, see if this is a useful tool to use which I'm pretty sure it will be on uh, fro freeze dried food to pick up cold spots when it comes out of the freeze dryer so we got about 45 seconds left we'll watch that countdown and uh, we'll pull it pull those two trays out I got so two other trays in there but they're my experiments that I'm trying to perfect before I show you those so we'll work on the two fruit trays for now okay so I just pulled these out and I've turned my thermal imager on I don't know if you're going to be able to see this I'm going to try and pick this up. So the cold spots are right up in here, which would be the, up in this corner up, up here. Let's get that tray first. And the edges, you can see the bright, the red and the pinks that's warm around the edges so you see quite a bit of blue on there and we know that's not done the darker the blue the colder it is Let's see if I can point something out here now that's my finger so right in here it's frozen still and if I pick that up you can still feel it frozen right in there this is really cold there's my grape right there and it's really cold so that works pretty well let's look at this tray over here see all those dark blue spaces in there that is product that is still cold now yes you can just feel that now they're so cold it's only been 18 hours the real test and I'll show this again when we put I'm gonna run this through again well actually I'm gonna add time I'm gonna probably add oh that's nine o'clock at night here now eight seven six five probably add 20 hours to it to be honest with you that'd be like after work tomorrow so I'm going to put an, another 20 hours of final dry on it. We'll pull it out and we'll look at this thermal imaging again on that. That's, I think this is a really handy tool to give you an overall. I mean, it actually shows you on the screen the temperatures. I don't have my glasses with me, so I can't read them on my digital camera here. Let's see, what's it say? So if I put that on the, the center spot, it's saying that that dark blue, dark black actually, is about 15 degrees. Whereas if I point it up here at the edge and get it on a nice red spot, it's 62, 65 degrees. And if I do, it gives you a maximum temperature on, on that frame right there is... 69 degrees and the minimum temperature is about 3 degrees 
so you know and and it also told, sh shows you where the coldest temperature is on the screen and there you go you get about five minutes and it wants to auto shut down to save your battery so we'll pop this back in and pull them out in about 20 hours see you then okay so I've added over 24 hours to this so it should be nice and dry we'll see so I have my uh, HTI HTA1 thermal imaging camera let's point this to this and see if we can find any cold spots if I put the center this center little beaker on the coldest spot is 92 degrees 90, 87 there if you look down at the bottom of the screen it tells you the maximum temperature is 118 the minimum that it's picking up in that shot is 73 so we're seeing a lot of blue on it so I know that's not because it's cold that's because it's the coldest of the temperature so let's find this dark spot right here right there it's saying that that piece right there is about 90 86 degrees so let's pick that up and that is totally dry on the inside so it seems to be a really good tool for finding your cold, find another cold spot let's see if I can get this in the camera okay I'm gonna put that darkest spot that you see right there see if I can find that on the tray right here that's this thick strawberry right here and that's totally dry and tastes delicious <laughs> here's another one oh, keep getting her down at the camera shop so I think I've d demonstrated that it it works really well. The focal length on the uh, HTA1 with the camera on the back, you can get right up to four millimeters from it and scan it that way. Obviously, I'm not going to get so close that I touch my camera on the product. I'm going to stay. I'm probably about three inches off and I can scan the whole tray if I come up with a dark looking spot I can pick that piece up and have a look at it and see if it's cold which it's not there's a nice cold one compared to comparatively it says it's 82 degrees so it's not cold that'd be this piece right here which is a nice dry strawberry so I'm very happy with this meter I think it's a great a addition to my uh, freeze drying experiment so there you have it let me know what you think talk to you again oh I forgot to tell you you can actually take pictures with this it's got a button Right there, you press that button, and ca you can capture a picture of this. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of it, and I'll post that in the video. Do I want to store the photo? Say yes. It's stored, and then we'll download that and put, put that into the video. Okay, there you go. I'll see you next time.